Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The Megapixel Race, uh, as far as sensors are concerned. I just did a video on this saying is the Megapixel Race now over because a lot of cameras seem to have plateaued at 24 megapixels. You know, the D7200 is at 24. The new 5600 from Nikon's release is still 24. Uh, both the 610 and the 750 are 24. Now, granted, both those could have an update, uh, but the 6300 from Sony and the 65, the latest, still at 24. It seems to be a trend. Are we plateauing at this? I mean, the Canon 80D and the M5, 24. Canon doesn't really factor in, and are we plateauing because it's taken them this long just to catch up to 24? But we had an interesting question in, or an interesting comment from a reader, and uh, we have... Uh, Heidi, is a YouTube username, writing in saying, this race will never be over. Within three years, all crop sensors will be 50 megapixels and full frame will be 100 plus until these dinosaurs are fully replaced by mirrorless. So, interesting comment. Obviously a big fan of mirrorless. We can uh, extrapolate that from the commentary. Uh, but Heidi's saying that within three years, all crop sensors will be 50 megapixels and that full frame will all be 100 plus. On first blush, first glance, um, you might think, well, no, that's that's not gonna happen. But think about it, three years, that puts us into 2020. That's an eternity in tech development. If we look at the development of sensors and how we've, I mean, it wasn't that long ago I was shooting a six megapixel sensor, not all that long ago that 2.7 was like the Nikon flagship. This isn't that long ago, especially in technological terms. Um, and we're talking three years, and we're looking at that law. Um, I always forget the fellow's name that it was named after, but the, the tech law, the computer law, that things will double every 18 months or two years. So three years we're talking about, Heidi's saying here, 50 megapixels. That's roughly a doubling of our current 24. We know we're already capable of more than 24 because Samsung has delivered a very nice 28 megapixel crop sensor. So that, that's not, you know, that's less than a doubling. So uh, I think, you know, pondering on it, that it's certainly a very good likelihood that that will be the new de facto norm of 50 for APS-C sensors and 100 plus for full frame. I mean, we're already seeing 50 megapixels full frame on the Canon 5DS and 5DSR, 42 on the A7R2 from Sony. Uh, so, you know, not a big stretch. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Heidi that we're going to see 50 meg uh, crop sensors across the board and 100 plus for full frame? Or do you think that that won't happen in three years or anytime soon? Let me know in the feedback uh, in the comments. Let me know your feedback in the comments below. Let's discuss this. Um, in three years' time, where do you expect APS-C and full-frame sensors to be for resolution? Thanks for your uh, your comment, comment there, uh, Heidi, your feedback. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.